Good morning, or is it a good morning? It is minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit here in Montana. A little bit cold, a little bit of snow. And I tell you, man, these electric cars are just junk. In this cold, they don't do anything. They don't start up. You can't drive them. You can't heat them. It's cold inside if you can drive them. And they don't go very far. They have less than half the range. They're completely, totally worthless. So, don't believe that guy in the intro, whoever he was. I mean, he was wearing a face mask probably to, hey, to hide his face from you. <laughs> but hey, it's the time of the year when you get to hear these things on social media and everywhere. They blow up stories about EVs, how bad they are. Well, I tell you what, this is our sixth winter here in Montana with our EVs. We had multiple right now. We have this 2018 Tesla Model 3 that we had since new. We have this 2013 Tesla Model S rear wheel drive that we had since 2021. And in between, we had the 2020 Chevy Bolt and we went through a winter with it. It did just fine as well. So their stories you see, don't believe them. They're overblown, okay? So one of the weird things is when I first got an electric car, Back in 2018, people would ask, how does it do in the winter? And I was always confused, why would they ask me that? It was in the middle of summer. But then eventually it clicked in my head and I figured it out. Well, because internal combustion engine vehicle, their gas cars, their diesel trucks out here, they don't work in the winter. They have a hard time starting them when it's cold. Minus 31 degrees. Even gas vehicles don't start if they've been sitting like this one here, been sitting a couple days. We had it happen to us, our Honda Accord wouldn't start. It was only minus 20. It was only sitting over the weekend. Monday morning it would not start. So what do you do? Well, you have to plug in your ICE vehicle. Yes, isn't that kind of weird? You plug in your uh, internal combustion engine vehicle that runs off gas or diesel so that you can start it. <laughs> yeah, you have to put it, plug it in so that, that uh, there's a block heater that keeps the engine warm. That's what you have to do in cold temperatures like this, unless you have a nice garage that st stays warm or is even heated then yeah, you may be lucky. Also, if I would go to town today, all the vehicles in the parking lots everywhere are probably running at least 90%. Why? Well, because people are afraid they don't restart and people don't want it cold. They go in real quick, oh, it's only five, 10 minutes. So they leave it running out there, polluting and idling at zero miles per gallon, the worst fuel economy you could have. Not with an electric car. With an electric car, you keep just the heat going. That's all you keep going. Nobody will even notice that it is on. You can keep your cabin nice and warm. So if we wanted to go somewhere today, uh, I would uh, use one of those two vehicles. I want to use the, the truck over there. <laughs> no, the truck may not even start. So, and uh, well, what would I do? Well. Go check out this video and then you know what you need to do when it's that cold out that you can get in a nice and comfy electric vehicle and it will be driving just wonderful, okay? Even in an emergency right now, if we needed one of these two here, we could get in and go. We probably would take this one because there's not as much snow on it. We would have to dig out this one, takes a little longer. So we would take it here. We will get in and go. Yes, it will be freezing cold in there, but it starts up, it goes, no problem. What about range, you ask? <laughs> no big deal. Yes, you have less range in the winter time. Why? Because you heat with the electricity that's in the battery pack. Internal combustion engine vehicles are so inefficient, they have so much excess heat, you can easily heat the cabin. That is an advantage, but with the electric vehicle, unfortunately, yes, we need to use electricity from the battery, but it's actually not so bad. Um, we still make it on our trips in the winter time. We still make it from here to our supercharger in Butte. If we go that direction, 
150 miles uphill battle, 2000 feet elevation gain, no problem. And that's all that matters. And there we want to break anyway after a couple hours of driving. Here around town, no big deal. Also, most of the time for your daily driving, you don't need that much. And you can just increase your charge level a little bit. So if you have it charged to 70%, now charge it to 80%. <clears throat> and you got a little extra. So, yes, uh, no problem driving an electric car in the winter time. As I said, I'm not gonna take them out today. Plenty of videos on our channel. I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, links to some of those videos down below in the description. Go watch them if you haven't seen them yet. I have taken all these cars that I mentioned earlier out in extreme cold. We've been driving through winter storms, all kinds of stuff. So go check those out. These cars do quite well in the winter time. The only thing you wanna do is at home, here, zip. And there, zip. keep them plugged in. Keep them plugged in, this way those cars can do what they need to do. Keep their batteries nice and toasty <laughs> so that you have a better driving experience. Whatever they need to do, if you preheat them, it will take power from the grid rather than from the battery. It works perfect. Also, I have a video about if you get stuck in the cold. Uh, there should be a link popping up up here. Um, how long can you be stuck in the cold? Because people always say, oh, you're gonna run out of battery. Well, heck, you're gonna run out of gas. <laughs> so there's a video there that will show you uh, how long you can actually be stuck in the cold um, with an electric vehicle. So it is freaking ass cold. Sorry for this expression, but that's what it is. I've been out here um, for a while now. Before I started this video, I already been outside. I had to feed uh, our critters up there. <laughs> and uh, I had to put the fire within the boiler so we keep the house nice and toasty. And my fingertips are kind of freezing right now. So I'm going back in. And uh, well, it's gonna be a beautiful day. I think, look at this. I mean, how much more beautiful can it get? The sun's coming up just now. Um, it won't be very warm today. I think the high for today is like minus 14 or something. The high yesterday was minus three. So it won't be very warm, but it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day with this sun coming out. And uh, well, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel so you get to see more of our adventure videos that we do in the winter time driving these EVs. <laughs> make sure you are subscribed to the channel and if you haven't been with us for a while, uh, go click the channel icon and check out all the videos we have winter time, road trips, summertime road trips, extreme cold driving, all kinds of stuff is there. Also, go check out the link down below in the description to our Redbubble store. We got some t-shirts there and other stuff. You might like something. Well, in any event, thank you for watching. Goodbye.